Samsung phones come with a lot of cool and useful features which I think every brand should copy including iPhone. But they already do that. Never mind. In today's video, I'll tell you 10 of my favorite Samsung features and if you're a brand watching this video, take your notes out. Let's get started. Okay, so let's say you're in the car and the songs are being played from your phone. Now, you want to scroll some reels, but you just can't because the moment you do that, the music stops. But with Samsung, it's no problem. Here you get this separate app sound feature where the sound of your music app goes directly to your car and the rest of the audio plays on your phone. So no matter what you do on your phone, be it scrolling reels, watching YouTube videos or even playing games, the music on your car does not stop. I think it's a well thought out feature, only Vivo and iQOO phones have this. Other brands should just copy this. Now, as the name suggests, this feature lets you play same audio on two Bluetooth devices simultaneously. Isn't that fun? All you have to do is connect both the Bluetooth speakers or TWS to your phone, play the movie or song you like and just tap here. And that's it. It's done. It's actually useful for couples and friends with similar music taste. And the best part is that it works with any Bluetooth speaker or TWS. They don't have to be from Samsung, unlike iPhones. Now, this happens with me a lot. I come across a nice outfit, I take a screenshot thinking that I'll buy when I get some time. But when I get back to the screenshot, I completely forget about the website link. But not anymore. Because there's this go to website pop up at the bottom and on clicking that, it'll take me directly to the website. It works with YouTube videos also. So you take a screenshot of the video or the comment section, you'll see this go to source pop up at the bottom and on pressing that, you will land on the video. I'm not sure who thought of this feature, but whoever did that, a big kudos to that person because it just saves a lot lot of time. Samsung also offers a temporary cloud backup of unlimited storage. It's only for 30 days, but if you're giving your phone for repair or just switching to a different phone, you can just back up everything here and restore on your new phone or the repaired one. This is definitely a very useful feature, but the only catch is that it works with Samsung phones only and doesn't back up WhatsApp data, obviously. But still, I think it's a good feature to have because no other brand offers that. Samsung also has this feature called screen annotation that lets you highlight, annotate and even write text on live screen recordings. Now, this is very useful if you're trying to tell your parents or your friends how to do something on their phone step by step. And in case you're reviewing a video, you can just screen record while you're watching and pinpoint the changes right on top of the video. This feature genuinely saves a lot of time. In screenshots also, there's something special. Once you enable this setting, all your future screenshots will never include your status bar and your navigation bar. This this is extremely handy because you'll never have to crop your notifications ever. Quickshare is very useful, we all agree on that, but on Samsung, it comes with super pops. Yes, here we get two very cool options like sharing the image with a watermark and sharing the photo secretly, which will have a self-delete timer and resharing restrictions to disallow screenshots and forwarding. This works only when you're sharing from one Samsung device to another, but nonetheless, it's a good feature to have. I hope Apple brings this to AirDrop without calling it revolutionary. There's also this cool feature where if I use this finger, the phone normally unlocks. And when I use this finger, the phone automatically goes into dark mode, put itself into mute and opens incognito mode on browser. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Now this is done with routines, which is basically Apple shortcuts on steroids. There are plenty of routines you can set as per your need and the best part is that they work flawlessly. For example, I have also set this routine where the wallpaper will change depending on the phone, if it's on silent mode or if it's on ringing mode. By the way, if you already use any Samsung routine, tell us in the comments. If you're a long time Samsung user, you would definitely know about Samsung Pay. Samsung Pay lets you store any UPI details, government cards, credit or debit cards, and they even offer cashbacks. Plus, they're also rolling out NFC card support in some markets, so you can just copy your access card to the phone and don't have to carry the card with you anymore. Honestly, this is extremely convenient, and once you start using it, you don't really have to take out your wallet at all. I really wish more brands copy this. 
All right, so this one is a cool one. Samsung has this feature called Amplify Ambient Sound, which basically turns your phone into a personal sound amplifier, aka spying device. Once you turn it on from the accessibility settings, you can just place your phone anywhere you want. It'll pick and amplify the sound around it and then place it directly on your Bluetooth earphones. This feature is actually designed to provide hearing support, but I'm sure there's more to it. And by the way, it works with any Bluetooth earphones, unlike iPhones, which works only with AirPods. Let's say your phone screen is on. Instead of pressing the power button, just give it a high five and the screen will go dim, just like it does on smartwatches. You can also control the music right from your AOD by just double tapping on the display. So that's it from my side. Now, what features do you want Samsung to copy from other brands? Tell us in the comments. And if you want to watch more such videos, give us a hint by pressing the like button. It really means a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.